been a long time and we've all been sick we're all getting better and so we're back in the kitchen and I'm gonna hop on with something quick and easy tonight can you guess what it is did you see what Alana panned by yep we're having it's tacos in the title. huh it's in the title oh we're it's doing. in the title okay well anyway we're doing tacos and no, I'm not going to show you how to make a taco because making tacos is easy. But what I am going to show you is how to make your own taco seasoning because, you know, Mariah, I don't like putting extra preservatives in my family's body. And so I make my own spice mix for tacos. And so we've got garlic powder. And I'm just browning some ground beef. So I'm going to throw in some garlic powder. Yes, a nice healthy heaping of that because we like garlic and garlic's good for you. Some onion powder. And then we've got cumin. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We gotta have some more cumin. I love cumin. It smells kind of smoky and it's delicious. Cumin's cousin is coriander. Oh, that's what I forgot to buy at the store today. Cilantro. I think coriander comes from cilantro. Oh, does it? I think so, yeah. So we'll put some coriander in there also. Some smoked paprika. That's always delicious. And it makes it a really nice color. Some chili powder for a little bit of heat. And then for a little more smoky heat, some chipotle. You don't have to use the chipotle. And the amounts that you use of each of these are completely up to you, depending on how much heat you want. The chipotle and the uh, chili powder are what's gonna give you the heat. And then I just threw in some pepper. And I wish you had smell-o-vision because it smells so good. I'm gonna throw in some salt. And I just throw this in with my ground beef, just like you would one of those little taco packets that you buy from the store. You see how it's changing color and looking like tacos? Then we'll just drain the grease off and we'll make some yummy tacos with all the fixings. And that's all there is to it.